as you know, I'm uh, I'm uh, an academic in Harvard, and uh, one of our most famous graduates is Mr. Zuckerberg, he of Facebook fame. Um, but so the way I like to say it in uh, in public events is to say that building an enterprise in the developing world is not like building Facebook in the Harvard dorms, right? Uh, you think about it. I'm sitting here doing this conversation with you, Deepak, from the Harvard Business School. Um, we are in the middle of a dense ecosystem here in Cambridge. Imagine a lady um, in the Harvard dorms here at HBS uh, coming up with an idea. She has access to some unbelievable supporting infrastructure. There's pools of risk capital that are used to taking risks, that know how to measure risks, that know how to, how to deal with the unfolding of risk uh, in different ways, uh, that know how to price assets in that environment. There are intellectual property experts and lawyers who can value intangibles in ways that we just don't know how to do in the developing world because we don't have the experience sets yet. Um, there are so many universities pumping out talent in different ways. You can always find someone who's willing to work on your startup who has a different skill set that complements your own. Uh, there are logistics providers, there are consulting firms of at every level of sophistication. Uh, there's bankers of all sorts who specialize in big amounts of money and small amounts of money. There's arbitration specialists. There's bankruptcy specialists. There's an array mm -hmm. of people who are just there to essentially create a foundation on top of which you can do your startup. Now, mm -hmm. go to Bogota or go to Bangalore even. I'm very active in Bangalore as a, as a, as an entrepreneur myself and as a, as a provider of risk capital. And uh, you're an entrepreneur that, you know, unless you're doing some very specific things for which the infrastructure exists, by and large, none of these conditions that I mentioned really exist to the depth and sophistication that you'd like it to. So it mm -hmm. falls to the entrepreneur to either choose the very circumscribed set of things that it's possible to do with that de minimis infrastructure. In other words, you stay away from many things, which is not optimal from society's standpoint. Um, or you take those things on, but then it's incumbent upon you to compensate for the absence of all these supporting uh, institutions. So this mm -hmm. compensation for the absent soft and hard infrastructure is what I refer to as creating the conditions to create. 